There are plenty of short term vacation rentals in this neighborhood because the beach is just about five blocks that way. And that's one reason the people who live here permanently say skepticism is growing over the mayor's plan to keep the peace. It was a constant nightmare. We'd drive home wondering, you know, what we were going to find. There's a sign just outside Ronan Gray's front door that reads, Life is good in North PB. Gray's actual words, however, describe something much different. We just had a constant stream of people showing up, sometimes at midnight. Uh, you know, banging their luggage up the steps. Other times people would return from the bars when they closed at 2 a.m. and turn the jacuzzi on, jump in the pool. It's because up until two months ago, he lived next to a short term vacation rental. He says the actual host was impossible to locate. It took 18 months to find out who they actually were. And then when we reached out to them, we got no response. It's a scenario Mayor Kevin Falconer's proposal to regulate short term rentals aims to eliminate. Hosts have to post their contact info outside and respond to calls within an hour. The city, through fees, would create a 16 person team of code enforcement and police officers solely to address complaints. Well, I think it's a step in the right direction. Host Donna McLaughlin rents out five cottages in Hillcrest through Airbnb. She lives close by to respond to issues, but says the new city team could provide oversight. And I think that will help to eliminate the irresponsible owners. But with thousands of rentals around town, both Gray and McLaughlin say the code enforcement team may be overwhelmed. I think it'll be a lot like chasing cats. First time violators would get a warning. A fine could come next. A third mishap in a year could mean losing your license to host. John Horn, 10 News.